Welcome to the course on ladder safety. My name is Marcus Wiesaw and I'll be your instructor for this course. My contact information is listed on the screen so if you have a need to contact me feel free to do so uh, at your discretion. Let's go ahead and cover the objectives of this ladder safety course. Uh, we're going to keep it pretty simple for this course and do more uh, more on what not to do uh, after we discuss loads, angles, rungs, slipping, and a few other things, as well as misuse of ladders. So the objectives here are to introduce you to the proper use of ladders, and then we're going to show you uh, some things that we commonly see throughout the industry uh, that might uh, surprise you. So uh, more to come on that. So let's go ahead and first uh, move on here to ladder safety and loads. Self-supporting or fold-out as they're also known and non-self-supporting or what we call a leaning ladder or portable ladder must be able to support at least four times of the maximum intended load except extra heavy duty metal or plastic ladders which must be able to sustain 3.3 times the maximum intended load. So the point that I would like to drive home to you as the participant of a course is always know what your load capacity is and you might be surprised to find out that on some ladders the loads might be as low as 150 or 200 pounds and so check those to make sure that uh, the ladder will support what it intends to support. Angle. Non-self-supporting ladders which must lean against a wall or other support are to be positioned at such an angle that the horizontal distance from the top support to the foot of the ladder is about one to four or one fourth the working length of the ladder. In other words, for every four feet in height, we want to kick the ladder out of the base one foot. So at a height of 16 feet, for example, we would bring the ladder out four feet from the uh, horizontal. And in, in the case that uh, you have a job made wooden ladder, the angle should equal about one eighth the working length. And this purpose minimizes the strain of the load on the ladder joints that may not be as strong as on commercially manufactured ladders. Rungs. Ladder rungs, cleats, or steps must be parallel, level, and uniformly spaced when the ladder is in position for use. Rungs must be spaced between 10 and 14 inches apart. For extension trestle ladders, the spacing must be between 8 and 18 inches for the base and 6 to 12 inches on the extension section. Rungs must also be so shaped that an employee's foot cannot slide off and must be skid resistant. Slipping. Ladders are to be kept free of oil, grease, wet paint, and other slipping hazards, which is consistently a problem across all industries. People just do not want to keep their ladders clean. Wood ladders must not be coated with any opaque covering except identification or warning labels on one face only of a side rail. Only of one side rail, that is. Other requirements in ladder safety, uh, requirements and then good uh, best practices. Fold out or step ladders must have a metal spreader or locking device to hold the front and back sections in an open position when in use. When two or more ladders are used to reach a work area, they must be offset with a landing or platform between the ladders. The area around the top and bottom of a ladder must be kept clear. Ladders must not be tied or fastened together to provide longer sections unless they are specifically designed for use. And make note, in these cases the manufacturer would have uh, specifically designed the ladder for this use. Okay, so if it's not, uh, if the manufacturer doesn't approve that kind of use or doesn't uh, explicitly say that the ladders can be fastened together, then, then we cannot do that. Never use a ladder for any other purpose for which it was designed. And that's a general rule. 
misuse of ladders. So what we have is about six points that I'd like to drive home on the misuse of ladders. Position ladders so the side rails extend at least three feet above the landing. That's a common rule. Uh, it's, a, it's what I like to call OSHA candy because OSHA compliance officers are notorious for measuring ladders and, and to see how long they extend past the, uh, the landing or walking working surface and if it's not three feet or more they do cite that frequently. Secure the side rails to the top and use a grab device when a three foot extension is not possible. Make sure that the weight on a ladder will not cause it to slip off of its support and always inspect ladders before each use. I can't stress that enough. Do not put more weight on the ladder than what it was intended or designed to hold. And one of the things that frequently uh, is a pet peeve of mine when I go to workplaces and inspect uh, a work environment, I'll look at ladders and I'll see if the labels are on the side of the ladder because the, the labels are going to outline what the load capacity is on that particular ladder. And frequently I see those torn off, ripped, faded. And so uh, keep in mind that you want to have those labels in good shape so people can go and look at what the, the ladder is intended on holding uh, for a weight. And only use ladders that comply with OSHA regulations. Okay, now OSHA regulations require that, you know, there's a certain angle that rungs or a certain spacing you know for example um, you know rungs must be spaced 10 and 14 inches apart in most cases so uh, you want to have a ladder that complies with OSHA regulations and, and don't ever assume that uh, ladders will especially if it's an imported ladder so we want to make sure that ladders are uh, compliant with OSHA regulations out of the box. Otherwise, it's going to be on your company if an inspector comes and checks. So I don't want you to do any of the things you see in these photographs. There's some pretty wild stuff here. I can't make this up. Look at it. Uh, hopefully it makes you laugh. It makes me laugh a little bit from time to time, but People are always doing crazy things with ladders. It never ceases to amaze me how creative yet dangerous people can be. So don't do any of these things. Okay. So as you can tell, this guy is using one ladder as a prop for another. In this particular case, this guy has orchestrated a ladder in, in such a fashion that uh, he is putting himself in, in quite the uh, jeopardy. So this was pretty creative I thought to use the electric meter as a stabilizing point for one end of the ladder and cinder box on top of a table for the other part of the ladder. It's very interesting. This one is pretty creative. Uh, I don't know how he got that orchestrated or how he was able to maneuver that, but that's a pretty creative use of a ladder as well to get to quite a tough spot. And think about if this employee should have happened to fall, uh, that doesn't look like a very good day to me. Uh, these guys are definitely not having a good day. This photograph was snapped during a fall and you can see that uh, the individual falling off the ladder there is actually headed uh, down towards the ground with his head meeting the ground first. This is one of my favorites uh, and I've seen this done numerous times in different settings. Sometimes you'll see a forklift lifting another forklift with the mast lifting someone up on a ladder. You see that frequently and this is just uh, a similar kind of setup. And here we go, we see an inappropriate use of a ladder yet again in this particular scenario. So all in all, those are things that I don't want you to do. I don't want you to get creative with ladders. I don't want you to uh, use ladders for any other purpose uh, for which they were designed. And so if you can follow these general rules, I think for the most part you'll find yourself to be in pretty good shape.
Okay, so that's a little bit about ladder safety. Uh, remember, uh, as we close this position or close this presentation up here, that I always want you to inspect ladders and make sure everything's working on the ladder. If you see a broken part on the ladder, replace. If you see something, if it's a wooden ladder and it's cracked, or if it's fiberglass ladder uh, and it just doesn't uh, look like it's in, in good shape, I don't want you to use it. And so if you have any other questions on ladders, uh, feel free to contact me at your discretion and we can discuss it in more depth. Have a great day.